Hello, my name is Rick Goralski, gas injection technology specialist for Bauer Compressors, the global leader in gas assist injection molding. I have been actively promoting gas injection technology for more than 30 years and have worked on hundreds of GIT products throughout my career. I'm here today to talk about gas injection technology. When properly applied to your injection molding process, GIT can provide a significant reduction in production costs and greatly improve part quality. Before we talk more about the benefits of GIT, let's first define the GIT process. Most molders will describe GIT as a method of making hollow parts. While this is essentially true, I prefer to describe GIT as a more efficient method of applying pressure to an injection molded part during the cooling phase of the process. With conventional injection molding, packing pressure is applied by forcing more plastic resin through the material feed gates. This results in higher internal pressure and the packing pressure can only be applied until the material gates freeze off. As pressure continues to be applied, freeze off is also occurring in the part itself. The areas of the part that are furthest away from the gates will freeze off first and pressure can no longer be applied to these areas. But as the packing pressure continues to be applied, more resin continues to be forced into the area nearest to the gates. This pressure differential causes unequal densities of resin in the part. As the part continues to cool, shrink will occur at different rates causing stress and warp. As you can see from the mold filling analysis, the cavity pressure near the gate is about five times higher near the gate than it is at the corners of the part. Now, let's add gas channels and apply GIT to the process. With GIT, the gas pressure is applied internally through hollow sections in the part or via a network of strategically located gas channels that are added to the part design. The internal gas pressure is significantly lower than the pack pressure used in conventional molding. The internal cavity pressure in this example went from 5,000 to around 1,200 PSI and remained relatively equal throughout the part. This mold flow comparison shows the dramatic difference in internal cavity pressure between conventional and the GIT molded part. Due to the lower pressure differential with GIT, stress and warping are reduced. Clamping force is also reduced significantly when GIT is used. With conventional injection molding, the part needed about 1,100 tons of clamping force. Using GIT, the same part only requires around 400 tons of force. It may also be possible to reduce tooling costs when designing a GIT mold. Slides and lifters may not be necessary to eliminate thick sections. In some instances, it is possible to eliminate expensive hot runner systems. This Jeep headlight mounting module was molded with a single cold sprue, eliminating the need for an expensive hot runner system. Other benefits of GIT are reduced cycle time, reduced material costs, increased strength and rigidity, and higher quality surface appearance. With GIT, part quality is improved, manufacturing costs are reduced, and less energy is used in the production process. Less energy for a more environmentally friendly molding process. If you want to take advantage of the cost savings and improved part quality that GIT can provide, Bauer is available to assist you with part design, process training, and equipment selection. Contact a Bauer Plastics Technology Group specialist today to get started.